Welcome back to another episode of Sir Cedinho's Escapades. Um, last episode, 140-ish million move to Manchester City. We're tired of having to carry a club on its back. And well, now we're at a club that just makes signings for the heck of it. Like, look at this. They signed Joshua Kimmich just because they can. City have a god squad and we're a part of it. I mean, no excuses for not winning everything this season. And, and I don't want to see excuses from my players about the tire tiredness or about... Uh the schedules or the fixtures are how the games. That is nothing. To be honest, though, we had an iffy start to the season because a draw against Sheffield. That's yikes. But got a chance to make amends as we play Manchester United. Oh, boy. First ever Manchester derby in a city shirt. This should be exciting. As you guys know, we're rocking an 85 overall with all the perks and everything right now. 93 shooting on our man. Absolutely brilliant. Also, in this episode, if you can see the top right of your screen, we should be really close to level 23. More XP, perfect. Just kind of want to show you guys a look at this squad because it is outrageous. Edison, De Bruyne, Diaz, Kimmich, like... This team is just utterly ridiculous. We're like, what, 11th or 12th best player in the team overall-wise? Probably even higher. It's, it's insane. As I said, at Inter, at Arsenal, at Leeds, we never really had to fight for trophies, although we did with Inter. Got to a Champions League final here. Our teammates are good enough to do it by themselves, so very excited for the season. Let's kick things off. Man City United, let's go. Also, guys, I feel like it's about time we get a new trim. Like, this, this, nah, it's, it's, it's not working, boys. We need a new trim. We need something, something insane. Something insane or, or, or stupid? One of that. One of that. I'm thinking, we're at Man City, guys. It's time to bring blue-haired Cedinho back into the fold. But what style? What is this? This this is slicked back. How does it look in blue? Does it look good in blue, guys? That's the real question. Oh, God, this is atrocious. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what? If we are going blue, gotta keep the hairstyle a bit simple. Otherwise, it'll just look extremely weird. That, that is not simple, but it's stupid. You know what? Sometimes stupidity might just work out well. Yup, 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 yup. That's what we're gonna run, boys. That's what we're gonna run. Oh my god, the zoom in makes it even worse. He is literally bald from the sides. Good lord. Well, Sir Cirino, that's his new look. By the way, if you're enjoying the My Player series, the goal is to get this series out at least twice or thrice a week. And this week we've done it twice. Hopefully next week, three episodes. But you guys got to keep showing the support by dropping a like in the video. Let's go. City versus United. We're starting up top as a striker. It's Sir Cirino versus Ronaldo in, of course, the Premier League. This is going to be big. We kind of messed up in that first game again. Sheffield got an assist, but didn't really do much much more than that. So that needs to change it. When are we going to get RT for? Probably not because of the blue hair. Oh, God. Oh, this, this looks like a crime looking like that. Playing a Manchester derby looking like an idiot like that. But, oh, well, it is what it is. A performance on the pitch will speak for us, not, not our hairstyle. And, um, yeah, Pep Guardiola is not going to be happy with that. Oh, Ronaldo. Wow. Wow, Cristiano. Wow, Cristiano. Dude just smashed that one in and does his ooh, celebration. Wow. Fair play. 1-0 down already. Life at Manchester City has not started off as well as I'd expect, you could say. Joshua Kimmich making his debut, I reckon, and misplaces a pass. Again, Pep Guardiola is not going to be happy about it. Bruno Fernandes cut back and Manchester United 2-0 up. Guys, are we at Manchester City or Brighton? I have no idea, but guys, um, we, we, we were supposed to be the best team in the world. What, what's happening here? We just can't defend to save our lives. I'm so happy, believe me. I'm so happy. It's Manchester City we're playing at, but we still can't keep the ball, man. We're soon going to get accusations that Sir Cidinho makes every team that he plays for worse because... I mean, you're not wrong, <laughs> but you didn't have to say it. I mean, good lord. <laughs> Man City, what are they doing? 43% possession in this game. Like, guys, come on. Okay, this is bad. Watch Sancho score. My god, that deflection could have gone anywhere. Okay, that should be our ball, but Sir Cidinho fights for it, gets it, and now we can just maybe run in a straight line. Bit of a pace boost right there, bringing it inside. I see Sterling making Bruh. a good run. He, this moron, decides to pass it backwards. Just run with the ball, man. Come on. Oh, that's another one. Rashford's going to score off the cross by and in. Wow, this embarrassment here. How are we 3-0 down with Man City? Good Lord. I swear this team 
has just forgotten how to play football. Guys, they can't make a simple pass. Like, what's happening here? This is so frustrating, man. Just scored another goal. Put me out of my misery. Huh. Well, at least they didn't score off that. We get the ball here. Sterling's making a run. Watch him just stop running. Okay, he's actually running this time. But he slows himself down for what? I just do not know. And he's just gonna... Okay, he finds me. So for one, Sterling does well. I'm gonna bring it onto my right foot. <laughs> I wanna cry. Sir Cedinho's having an absolute nightmare. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Sir Cedinho. Nope. Of course, of course, of course. Nothing's gonna work. Nothing's gonna work tonight. Finally, a bit of space to work with, but still nothing's gonna come off it, isn't it? Finally, Mares finds me. Gonna bring it inside. Gonna keep making it that run, and I just get taken out there, and the ref's like, nope, no foul for that. I'm glad this game is done. This was bad. This was really bad. Huh. Well, that's, I guess, what happens when you spend more time at the Barbers, getting a weird haircut than actually on the game. Well, fair enough. And well, that manager rating is coming down, but we all get an XP, bit of training, and we'll be back up. Getting the hours in for the training. There you go, level 23, a bit of XP. I need that. I need that. I just think I'm going to change around the perks, boys. We're going to put on defensive cover so that our AI can actually defend, because we can see the three to Man United. So let's help out the AI with that perk. We've got plus four skill points, which we could use for... Let's see what. What can we use? Hmm, shooting is basically maxed out for a striker. We can maybe improve free kick accuracy and stuff like that. But I think a bit of passing would certainly help. Certainly, certainly. Vision is something we could up to. Hmm, or maybe dribbling. Attack positioning will boost our striker overall. Uh, definitely a bit more. Definitely. Dribbling, 94. Let's do 93. Let's do that. Let's remove that point we gave to curve and vision. Ah, uh, what do we do? I think, yeah, we got the two skill points back and we'll put that for this and let's, let's, we've got how many more left? Now we don't have any more left. We should have got an overall boost now. Let's see. Did we get an overall boost? Hey, let's go up to an 87 overall. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Hopefully that helps in our next game. We're 16th in the Premier League right now. 16th. Yup. Easy top three. If I'm not 16th. That's bad. That is bad with Manchester City. Need to start winning games. Next up, Arsenal. Let's do something on the pitch. That's the lineup. We got to beat this Arsenal team. They look okay. Nothing more than that. Look at our team in the ratings, man. Finally, we've got Walker playing in the team. Uh, but why is he at center back and not at right back? I swear this game. Ah, uh, Pep Guardiola. What on earth are you doing? There you go, Cedinho with the blue hair. He's ready to do something against Arsenal. We're yet to score for our new club. Can't have that, boys. Can't have that. I'm going to take a bit of a different approach for this game. I'm going to stay forward, not track back like a moron, and just stay in my position and trust that my teammates will bring the ball forward. That's decent. Good ball in. Oh, I got taken out there. Referee. Ref. Maybe I can turn and shoot here if there is space. If there is space, I get taken out. Finally, the ref's given me something. Yellow card for this guy. Free kick for us. I'm not going to take it. It's Kevin De Bruyne. But he can certainly put one in. Let's see. De Bruyne going for goal. Above the crossbar. You know what? This approach of actually staying in position has, has worked okay so far. I think I'm doing a lot better. Oh, here we go. Using the pace. Using the pace. How is he quicker than me, man? How is Tomiyasu quicker than me? Oh, my God. Well, we still have a chance here. Bernardo Silva off the post and on the rebound. What is happening? Oh my god, this game just... Oh, what is that even? How do we not score there? All right, we get one. Left foot going for goal. That was my first shot in a while. Not not too bad, I guess. Not too bad. Why do we play so slowly, man? Like, we're moving the ball around at snail spaces, and then you've got Kevin De Bruyne pulling passes like that. How are we going to score? Bernardo looking for that pass, but oh, it just wasn't a good one. Half time. This is tragic. We're at Manchester City and this team barely creates any chances. I will legit doze off here. My team just doesn't do anything. It's Manchester City. I thought we were going to be creating chances, scoring goals and all, but literally nothing. To get the ball forward itself just seems like an absolute task. And good lord is this... Oh, it's so frustrating. Oh, finally. Finally a bit of space. Big chance. Got to score. Look at that. You give Sir Cedinho one chance and he does not disappoint. Does the Wayne Rooney celebration in a city shirt? Isn't that convenient? What a strike. And that's a relief, guys. 
One chance in the game and we've managed to score. What a finish that one was. Brilliant movement. De Bruyne with the assist there. But getting away from the defender was class in the finish. Our first goal in the City shirt comes at the Emirates. That's a relief. Blue head Cidinho has at least done something on the pitch. Finally, the fraud Sterling comes off. Grealish is on. And now spaces will open up and now we can do stuff. Finally, guys. Finally, Arsenal are attacking. You'll have to see it. Grealish looks for Kevin De Bruyne. Going for goal. That, that's what we want to see. Where, where was this at the start of the game, boys? Come on now. At least we're playing better. And guys, the scoreline has seemingly disappeared. That's, that's highly convenient, but oh well. Okay, Osaka. Pass inside for Bruno. Still looking inside. Come on. I hate this game. How is Arsenal so much better than us? It's 1-1. One, one. It's going to be a long, long season at Man City if this is the football we're going to play. This team just barely creates any chances. Yeah, watch them win the game right now. Thankfully, Edison makes the save. Dude, just play the ball to me. It took so long huh, for me to get it. Finally, I do. I've got a bit of pace on me. Of course, I'm going to get caught up here. That's just how this game works. But we can maybe pass it around. No, no, we can't because Jack Grealish is a moron. That's more like it. That is more like it. Oh, what is this defending that I'm seeing here from Arsenal? Since when did Arsenal defend like champions like this? Gundogan. That's a good pass. That's a good pass. I've got the strength as well. I'm going to go for the cutback. It's the smart thing to do. Grealish, you idiot. How did you not score that in the 92nd minute? Unselfishly, Sir Cidinho sets up his teammate. You know what? This team, it's not good, guys. It's not good. Sir Cidinho has to carry a Manchester City team. What's happening here? What are we playing at? Good Lord, was this bad. This was bad. We did... Look at the ratings of the rest of the squad. We're literally... It's just been a carry job. Star Sir Cidinho shines, but the rest of the, rest of the players aren't stars. They're frauds, man. They're legit frauds. Uh, don't know what to do, boys. Don't know what to do. Maybe City will sign a player or two on deadline day. We'll see that. Saul signed for Everton. Wow. Manchester City have signed Weghurst. They're giving me competition and, and, and it's Weghurst. Insigne, they tried to sign, but didn't happen. But interesting. We're playing now Newcastle, the bottom of the league. We're going to quick sim this game. We are going to play, play as the striker, yeah? So... Huh, finally a win. We didn't score though, but okay, I'll take the win. So we end the episode being 13th in the Premier League with 5 points. We're already... How are Aston Villa top of the league? We're 7 points off them. This is weird. Anyways, that's that for this episode. Next episode, Champions League begins with City. We're back in the competition. We were top scorer last season. Hopefully we can start off with a win. Because what we've done so far has been pretty embarrassing. But yeah, that's it for today's episode of the Player Career Mode. Life in Manchester hasn't started off that well. I think a highlight has so far been that hairstyle. Yep, and that's sad. But yeah, drop a like in the video if you enjoyed this. Subscribe for new around here. And I'll catch you guys next week for another episode of the Player Career Mode. Peace.